thank you for this possibility to present the results of uh, the intensive work uh, of uh, a big uh, uh, team of uh, our co-authors uh, and today we will provide you uh, some uh, compact representation of the results that we obtained during the work on the uh, preparing some uh, uh, technology parts for uh, implementation of microprocessor based uh, systems that allow the reconfiguration uh, using some uh, individual nodes that involved in this process. Uh, we proposing uh, so the technical solutions that allows to perform this um, uh, this kind of uh, reconfiguration of such microprocessor-based systems. Uh, this idea uh, was generated four years ago uh, uh, during the uh, discussion of the possibility of such actions and based on a uh, two different uh, concepts the first one is based on the uh, requirements to uh, perform new step in preparing of 3d printing and uh, some kind of adding technologies that will allow to uh, perform the building of some uh, uh, peripheral components for smart home another um, uh, source of this uh, idea was based on the uh, requirements uh, for such systems like uh, power consumption uh, like uh, maintainability and ideas of uh, reliability for such systems and uh, based on that uh, the uh, significant um, uh, research was done to obtain uh, the uh, interesting results that includes uh, the uh, new concept of work with microprocessor based systems that uh, allows uh, the uh, process of uh, reconfiguration and reprogramming of individual nodes using uh, the uh, using the built in part of program that called um, bootloader. Uh, in addition to existing uh, process of work, we propose the use of single line uh, with backward compatibility with existing uh, interfaces. So actually it's not a new protocol, but the modification uh, on both sides, hardware and program level, uh, of uh, creation of communication uh, using uh, uh, universal asynchronous um, serial protocol. Uh, and uh, uh, we considered uh, the possibility to, uh, uh, to use um, such pre-compiled and programmed nodes to perform the diagnostics of the system itself, to perform a reconfiguration of individual nodes without direct connection to these uh, nodes, and uh, ability to perform maintenance of the system without direct connection to the system. Uh, so uh, it's a kind of uh, some remote maintenance of hardware system and uh, such kind of uh, systems are based on the uh, maybe the most cheap uh, uh, kind of uh, um, of uh, of the elements and because of that it can be uh, scaled and reproduced uh, based on existing development tools with adding our uh, specific headers and uh, adding our uh, elements, uh, uh, I mean the circuits and uh, proposed uh, technique with some steps of prototyping that can be um, implemented 
uh, using uh, another teams and another developers. I provided uh, uh, the words to my co-author to uh, provide some general information about the uh, requirements and uh, about the existing uh, uh, maybe a basis that allows us to perform such uh, conclusion and then i will show the practical steps that uh, we propose for uh, recovering and i will show the examples uh, of such reconfiguration of the nodes uh, alexander Alexander, are you here? One second. Alexander, uh, I'm providing you uh, the possibility to represent uh, the uh, results uh, or basics uh, that uh, was before the uh, final result in our research. Uh, and uh, I will help you with the slides. So uh, please continue. Okay, what I have missed just uh, first, like I was in another section, that's my fault. I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, where I should start? <clears throat> okay, uh, good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen, and dear listeners. Uh, today, we are glad to present your attention a report on the topic of our theme named uh, Technologies of Embedded System Prototyping Using reconfigura Reconfigurable Nodes uh, with Technical Solutions. Um, in, and we should uh, uh, start with motivation of such research. In today's realities, it's, it's IT systems are used in many areas of human activity including such as medicine, logistics, and the legal sectors. Consequently, the requirements for the reliability and safety of such systems involved in such industries are pushed much higher. The issue of improving reliability is especially a cue for embedded systems where the possibility of repair and modification is very difficult. In this regard, there is a need to develop a methods and tools for remotely improving and reliability characteristics. Next slide, please. Uh, according to all the above, the purpose of this work is to improve the reliability characteristics of common types of hardware systems, namely microprocessor-based complexes by improving maintain maintainability. The objectives of this work are a review of existing methods for improving reliability, a review of the application of the considered methods, a review and an analysis of existing solutions and frameworks for programming microprocessor solutions as part of the final segment of devices in the hardware of the system base on microprocessor solutions. Next slide please. Considering methods for improving reliability characteristics, uh, one should distinguish between methods used in design and methods for use in operation. The first includes the methods of uh, reservation, major, majority reservation involved, and it is C. The second includes uh, methods of control and recovery. In view of the described problems, 
the methods of control and recovery deserves a more detailed consideration, namely the variation which uses the inbuilt redundancies of industrial components, and it's called a uh, diagnostics and reconfiguration. Next slide, please. There are a cases of application of the considerate method in FPGA-based systems. In these examples, the system was equipped with an arbiter or manager, uh, which monitored the occurrences of faults on the used board gates. In the event of critical failures, the arbiter or manager launched the reconfiguration procedure during which the gates used were reassigned. Next slide, please. Uh, for the CPU-based systems case, uh, such uh, uh, usages of reconfiguration were not found yet. However, uh, an analysis on factory solutions shows that the considered solutions also have redundancy, which in theory can be applied during the reconfiguration procedure. Uh, those uh, red redundant so such uh, possible redundancies you can see on this slide. And next slide. Uh, for a practical case of applying such method, we're going to use an Atmel study your environment as that shown on that slide. Next slide, please. The main technical idea of our approach is to use uh, inbuilt bootloader modification and minimalized interface of communication shown on the next slide. Um, on, pre on previous slide, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, MBUS. MBUS. Need MBUS. Um, uh, that shown on this slide. Uh, in M, as known as MBUS, uh, that unites uh, two uh, standard UART ports into one that sim simplificate a, uh, a communication okay. that simplificate communication. Uh, next slide. Uh, for uh, for more detailed description of how uh, how works bootloader, we can see the a generalized scheme of uh, of processing uh, with using a bootloader. As we can see, uh, there there is a, in in general we can use uh, applications that. Uh, applies our code into uh, sends uh, the, the our code to bootloader and then bootloader applies our code into application image next slide the main algorithm of uh, use of um, work a bootloader you can see on those slide uh, there we can notice that we have um, one check uh, of uh, receiving data uh, that also should be highlight with our <coughs> work and for programming the bootloader we also need to uh, to use serial ports and its settings also provides by uh, provide by environment that uh, we use in uh, okay let me to continue and summarize uh, our proposed steps for prototyping of such systems it's necessary to take into account that uh, 
uh, implementing the system with the uh, proposed steps allows to perform the uh, uh, scaling of such systems and uh, usage of a significant number of uh, the nodes. In a potential case, it's possible to combine thousands of some uh, really cheap nodes uh, like, like smart dust and use such nodes to perform the printing uh, of the systems with desired functionality. In this case, it, it will be necessary to connect to only a few nodes uh, and then it will be possible uh, to perform uh, the programming of entire solid system uh, with required features. Uh, let's consider those steps. Uh, to perform uh, such uh, uh, programming, uh, it's necessary to modify the bootloader inside uh, each of node. It's necessary to uh, cre create a unique bootloader that will not be longer available for programming. This taken into account of uh, requirements to uh, use some uh, fuses during this uh, step of programming. Uh, and uh, uh, But all the components uh, can be programmed with this bootloader, and then it's possible to uh, provide or uh, use the system with such uh, uh, programmed nodes. And uh, it's, um, it's possible to uh, add some uh, hardware redundancy without uh, adding of ex extra components uh, by means of uh, reconfiguration of the uh, circuit uh, in the way that allows some uh, repairing at the uh, next stage of exploitation. It's possible to perform the diagnostics of uh, such systems uh, by means of reprogramming and loading of the diagnostics uh, 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 firmware to individual nodes using uh, the, this idea of remote reprogramming over single line of communication that support uh, the concept of many-to-many -many communication over la one line with uh, backward compatibility with another uh, serial uh, devices uh, that support such kind of communication. Uh, it's proposed to use uh, the encryption using uh, linear feedback shift registers or um, S-box uh, permutation to improve the uh maybe encryption of uh, such lines and prevent uh, easy reversing of uh, the uh, messages on this line also it was proposed to use some asynchronous way of listening of such uh, lines and uh, uh, such kind of communication to reduce the chance of um, uh, some problems with synchronization of individual nodes uh, in case of adding or removing of such nodes during the work of the system. And it's proposed to use the automated system with element of uh, artificial intelligence to uh, reduce the uh, uh, complexity of uh, for the developer during the development of such systems. Let's consider the practical case of reconfiguration of such system that was uh, uh, developed using this idea. This is a um, panel with buttons or circuit for such panel that um, consists of uh, some number of uh, optical buttons. Uh, uh, the optical buttons are used to improve the uh, physical uh, characteristics of such uh, uh, of such elements and to uh, increase the duration of the life cycle. Uh, because of the problems with physical degradation of switches. But it's also possible to find the problems with the disconnection of individual uh, lines if uh, this uh, circuit implemented uh, using some external uh, PCB with wired connection to uh, this PCB. So let's consider the case uh, when one of uh, the... Uh, of the uh, wire was disconnected. Uh, if it's possible um, to perform the reprogramming, uh, we propose to use some set of uh, pre-compiled uh, elements that store it at uh, one of the nodes or inside the flash memory of uh, this chip to uh, 
uh, detect uh, the problem and perform the reconfiguration of such um, of such um, system uh, in order to change the uh, kind of usage of the ports. For example, uh, in the uh, normal operation mode, uh, the uh, PC4 uh, is used for uh, for the process of um, uh, providing of the general power like pull up line. But in case of the disconnecting uh, of um, uh, one node, it's possible to use this line uh, as a uh, as a line with ADC connecting uh, to perform uh, the reading of value from one of uh, photo uh, sensor. And uh, in this case, it's possible to perform the replacement of the pull-up uh, lines using the rest available um, uh, port pins, and it will help to perform the reconfiguration. Let's consider another option. Uh, when the, uh, this uh, general line was disconnected, and in this case, it's possible to perform the uh, to perform the reconfiguration using the normal uh, line, and uh, in this possible, in this case, it's possible to use the uh, rest pins as a pull up, and uh, using this approach, it's possible to perform uh, uh, repairing of the such system without manual changing uh, or physical access to such uh, to such block. Okay. Uh, we achieved the following uh, results and we propose to uh, the practical steps of the building of such uh, systems and uh, we think that uh, this result will help significantly um, improve uh, the uh, flexibility and uh, possibility of reconfiguration of such nodes uh, and system based on uh, individual uh, microprocessor nodes. Okay, thank you for the attention, and uh, we will uh, answer for all the questions. Thank you, Akyom. Thank you, Akyom. Very nice, very interesting uh, presentation. Please, have uh, any questions? I have one small question, Akyom, if it's possible. Um, I'd like to ask you, I saw that uh, you are using for the communication and encryption systems uh, uh, generator of uh, pseudo random numbers LFSR, based on LFSR and uh, uh, for stream ciphers, of course, and for block ciphers, I uh, saw so that it uses boxes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is between the nodes. Uh, yes, this is uh, 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 between the interface and the nodes, the server, server your nodes. In, 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 this is on the channel of your communication only? Um, we propose to use uh, 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 linear feedback shift registers and uh, S-Box uh, as a way to um, uh, maybe modification of the sequences that used to communicate during the communication between individual nodes uh, to uh, reduce the chance or rest of reverse engineering of the uh, protocol itself uh, and um, uh, based on uh, thus uh, or combination of thus uh, uh, crypto primitives it's possible to obtain uh, uh, some uh, encryption of the uh, uh, bit sequence that will help to um, to protect the interface. Okay, okay, thank you. And um, how you manage the keys? Or oh, you, you use other keys for S boxes and uh, for your generator? Um, we consider the following idea of uh, key generation. Uh, for each uh, system during the uh, prototyping or during the development stage, uh, it's possible to select uh, built-in key for entire system and use this built-in uh, 
pre-configured key for all the nodes inside the system. Uh, this is one case. Another case, uh, use keyless architecture where the key is not required at all. Uh, but it requires some kind of synchronization based on the uh, sequence of uh, communication. So uh, yes. the key can be generated for uh, some uh, key equivalent can be used based on the manner of communication and in this case the key not required directly but it's not strong um, protection but um, it's also possible to improve uh, in the next mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. yes thank you because during the communication in this level you are working the synchronization for not to write keys is a little bit uh, uh, difficult and uh, you must have a lot of fall, fall alarms for yes. tolerance a lot for, about that okay that's quite yes. thank you thank you thank you very much thank you very much okay any more questions please no more questions thank you very much for your presentations and uh, let's go to the next one uh,